I'm honored to be able to speak to all of you about the wonderful Parnosa Expo that's going to be taking place this year at February 12th at the Meadowlands Exhibition Center. You know, there's a very interesting Gemara. The Gemara is in Brochas Daf Gimel Amid Beis. And the Gemara tells us that every night at Chatzois, a north wind would come and blow on the harp of David HaMelech, and he would awaken at that time, and he would learn all night. And then the Gemara tells us that when dawn came in the morning, Nichnesu Chachmi Yisrael Etzlai, the Chachamim of Kla Yisrael would come in, and they would discuss with the Melech, with David HaMelech, the problems of Kla Yisrael. And the Gemara relates a conversation that happened one morning. And they said to him, Adeneinu HaMelech, our master, our king, Amcha Yisrael Tzorech Panosa, the nation of Kla Yisrael, Tzorech Panosa, has to have Panosa. So Omalahem, so David HaMelech gave them the ideal situation. Listen to what David HaMelech said. Lechu v'hisparnosu zemizeh. Go and support each other. In other words, become a nation where people support and sustain each other. And that's really the beauty and the ideal way of Klai Yisrael making Panasa. When one can give Panasa to each other, where we could work for each other and we could work together. That was the ideal that David HaMelech wanted to accomplish. And that's the ideal of the Panasa Expo. As a matter of fact, the whole idea of this Expo is that not only those that are looking for jobs will come, but perhaps even more important, those who already have companies and are looking for good workers, looking for people that want to elevate the position that they've been until now, they'll be able to come and meet people from all kinds of fields, from healthcare, marketing, real estate, technology. Every company will be there. Every company is looking for wonderful workers and there will be many people that will be looking to get jobs in these fields. So everybody is helping each other. And that's exactly what David HaMelech felt the ideal was. Lechu v'hispanesu zemizah. That's what the ideal is. You know, it strikes me very interesting that this February 12th, this fair that's taking place is happening in the month of Adar. And you know, it's interesting. Haman in the Megillah, he says to Achashverosh, Yeishnoi am echod mefuzar umofoirod beino amim. There's a nation that's scattered and dispersed among the nations of the world. But there's a deeper meaning. It just doesn't mean that there are Jews all over the world. What Mepharshim say is that one of the problems of Klal Yisrael was they were not a united people. They were separate. They didn't get along with each other. And Esther understood that. And that's why when she says later in the Megillah, when she says to Mordechai, listen what she says, Leich kenois es gather all the Jews together, gather them in Achtos, let them help one each other, let them support one each other. And that's exactly what's happening at this Parnassa Expo. Leich kenois Yehudim. All types of Jews are going to be there. Last time at this, um, at this Parnassa fair, there were over 7,000 people together. And so many people found new work, and so many people found new employees for their companies, and everybody benefited. As a matter of fact, when there was an achtos like this, we know that what happens at the end of the Megillah, al Kain, ha-Yehudim, ha-Prozim, those yidden that were all spread out in, the different, in, in different cities, what happened was that there was an achtos, and the mitzvah became omashloyach monos ish l'reyeo. Each one sent delicacies to each other because that was the unity. That was the achtos, and that's really what we're trying to make sure happens over here. As a matter of fact, at this fair, there will be many, many experts in the field of law, in the field of import and export, all kinds of businesses, anything that you could think of. There will be the employers, there will be the employees, and everybody can get together, and everybody can benefit each other. And I want to tell you something frightening. You know, getting together and helping another Yid is very, very special. There's a Gemara in Bav Metziah Daf Nun Tes Amad Aleph, and the Gemara tells us, La'olam yehei adam zohir betfua betoich beisai. A person has to make sure that there is parnosa, that there is food in the house. She'ein meriva metzuya betoich beisai shal adam. Ella al iskei 
Many times, shalom bias problems happen because there's no food, there's not enough parnosa. And so when you get the best workers for your company and you're going to be making more money, that leads to brach and that leads to shalom bias in your home. And when, of course, somebody who's coming to look for a job and you go there and you're going to find a good job, that's going to help in your shalom bias. That's the biggest blessing. And I'll tell you something fascinating that once occurred to me. You know, all of us who daven Shem and Esra every day, three times a day, we say about blessing. We say the word bracha six times if you daven Nusach Sfard and four times if you say if you daven Nusach Ashkenaz. And we say, This is the bracha of Parnosa. Isn't it interesting? Of all the ideals that we have in this world, when you talk about asking for Parnosa, we express it in the term of Baruch, of Baruch, of blessing. Why is that? And you know what I think? Because I think that, unfortunately, having to go out to work is really a curse. In other words, the Eivishta, once Adam and Chava were cursed, the Eivishta said, With the sweat of your brow, you're going to have to put food on the table. Because of the original Avera, that's why Klal Yisrael has to go out and sweat and make a Parnosa. So what we're asking Hashem is, please, please give us the Brocha, give us Parnosa. How do you get that today? We can work with each other. We can bring that bracha. We can bring that bracha of Parnosa to each other. And we can bring the bracha of Shalom Bayis. I want to tell you a beautiful story. And then we'll end with a great thought. You know, I heard this story from Rabbi Yisach, a friend. And he said that once someone came to the Briskarov, Velva Salavechik, and this had to be probably the end of the 1940s or the 1950s. And they got into a discussion. And the Briskarov asked the fellow, he said, what do you do? In other words, what's your occupation? And the um, person said, I'm a lawyer. And the Briskarov, they went on into a further conversation. Then once again, the Briskarov asked him, what do you do? And he was surprised because the Briskarov's a genius, right? So obviously, if he said a few minutes ago that he's a lawyer, obviously he knows that he's a lawyer. He said, Rebbe, uh, I'm a lawyer. And listen to what the Briskarov said to him. He said, that's not how a Yid answers that question. And he showed him something remarkable that we lane on Yom Kippur. We all know that we lane Yoyna as the Haftarah. And listen to this. When Yoyna is on that boat, they said to him, you know, what's happening here? And then they said to him, what do you do? And listen what Yoyna answers. This is what the Briskarov said. He said to them, I am a Yid. Yes, Hashem, Alekei Hashemayim, Aniyara, and I fear Hashem. In other words, they asked him, what do you do? What's your occupation? And he said, Ivri Anaychi, I am a Yid, I fear Hashem. And listen to what the Radak says. Kivan Sha'omar, as soon as he said, Hashem, Alekei Hashemayim, Aniyara, when he said, I fear Hashem, Hey Shiv Lahem, Al Sheilos Amam That was the answer to what your job is. You're a Yid. You have to help Yidin. You have to be concerned for your fellow brothers and sisters in Klal Yisrael. That's what your job is. And Rabbi Friend told me that when he told over the story in Baltimore, a few weeks later, a fellow, a stockbroker, called him up and said, Rebbe, I want you to know, ever since I heard that story, I'm a stockbroker, and I put a uh, paperweight on my desk, and on the desk, on that paperweight, it said, Ivri Anoichi. I am a Yid. That's the answer to what a job is. And he said, I'll tell you the truth, that when I answer the phone now and I'm about to make a deal, I think to myself, am I acting the way a Yid is supposed to act? That's the job. That's Parnosa. You want to be somebody who brings Brocha into someone's life? You want to bring Brocha into your life with Parnosa and Shalom Bayez? This is the way. Ivri Anoichi. Fear Hashem, know that there's not only Avas Hashem, there's Avas Yisrael. And by coming here and giving jobs to people and finding people that will be able to enhance your business, that's the ultimate Ivri Anoichi. That's what you're doing, helping each other. So I just want to end with this beautiful thought. You know, as we stand here now in the beginning of January, February 2013, 2013, We've witnessed in the past few months a tremendous amount of devastation 
that was almost unparalleled in America. Billions of dollars were lost within a matter of days up along the East Coast. And we know so many people whose Panossa and homes were gone, whether it's Seagate, Oceanside, Five Towns, Long Beach, many, many places, many places, people really suffered terribly. And I don't have to tell you the job market is a difficult market today. So how do we respond to what happened? So it occurred to me, we saw Mashiv Haruach, Omoirud HaGoshem, in the worst way. Mashiv Haruach, the wind swept in, Omoirud HaGoshem, and the rains came down, and there was devastation. Perhaps we have to have it a different way. Mashiv Haruach, let us bring more Ruchnias into our homes. Omoirud HaGoshem, let's minimize the focus of Gashmias. Let's minimize our focus. Let's bring into our homes more Ruchnias. And you know something? I once heard something in the name of Rabbi Yisrael Salanta that's fabulous. He said, another Yitz Gashmias should be your Ruchnias. Isn't that great? Another Yitz Gashmias, the needs and the requirements of another Yid, that may be Gashmias for him, but when you help him, that's your Ruchnias. Mashiva Ruach, let's spread Ruchnias by helping somebody else's Gashmias. Let's get involved in the Parnosa of other people, in our own Parnosa, trying to get the best people for our jobs, and perhaps to give people who need the jobs, we'll give them jobs. And then in that way, we will be those people, that Lech Kenoi Sala Yehudim, that all those people that will come to this Parnosa Expo, they will then be able to gather as one, support each other, do exactly what Dovid HaMelech wanted, that Klai Yisrael should support each other, and then we'll be Zoycha to see Mashiach Ben Dovid come in our day. Thank you. Well, Israel, we'll join together as one. We'll join together as one. We'll succeed.